Well, clearly I have a book fetish, but uh, uh, as a reader, uh, I love fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, old or new, I love poetry, I read a lot of poetry, mm -hmm. uh, and I read a lot critically in the areas, shall we say, of my expertise. Mm -hmm. So I read a lot of art theory and, mm -hmm. and cultural criticism, mm -hmm. especially as it pertains to works of artists I'm interested in. Okay. Aside from that, I, I also like to read books about mountain climbing. Mm. Go figure. Uh -huh. uh, I grew up in the Midwest. And uh, I, I like travel. Uh, I have a few books on gardening. Let me think. You know, odds and ends. Uh, books about the various sciences, some philosophy, uh, some religion. Uh, I'm fond of John Hodgman's writing. So. Uh, so I have Hodgman's The Areas of My Expertise, which is hilarious to read. And uh, uh, well, that's about it. Yeah. Um, okay. I think uh, uh, for the person in front of my work, uh, I believe my work does a pretty good job of explaining itself. Uh, photographs of books, uh, which uh, I think many people see as having been lovingly taken, and, uh, or, or else the handmade paperwork, which is materially sumptuous. Its, it's uh, tactile properties are really intriguing in and of themselves. And, uh, the relationship of that tactility to language, which has no body, has no substance, I think is part of the provocation. So for this person on the street, I would say, well, I'm interested in reading and books, and I, I make photographs of, of books, and I make works of art on paper about the experience of reading, so that where you would see uh, an artwork meant for gazing at, you also find language fit for reading. And I'm interested in the way that uh, the attentiveness of readers is like and unlike the attention paid by viewers to our books. When and how did you come to work in this intersection of art, language arts and visual arts? Always. Even when I was preschool, my mother used to make me little books that I could draw in by sewing together sheets of brown craft paper with uh, lengths of yarn. And she'd tie the yarn along the spine and I'd have eight pages I could make drawings in. And I would make these little narratives in crayon and pencil sailing a boat across the water or, or going lion hunting in the jungle. And I would talk to myself, I would tell myself stories as I drew my pictures. So right from the start, um, I'm involved in, <laughs> I'm involved in the book arts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I think it's, I, I generally enjoy this, this specific show and this is my favorite piece here because I can see the artist, he's naked, which I like, um, and he, he's in a 
have relationship with his books here. I assume it's, they're his books. And uh, to me, that that adds something to to all the other pieces where I can actually see the person behind the work or connected with the work, and um, it it feels more personal and it just touches me more. So I, I enjoy that one. Well, just a general question to start off with. Uh, what do you think of the show so far? I find it very interesting. I love it. Uh, well, first of all, I I love books. I love to read, but I like the composition of them with the theme of the books being, for one, the Holocaust and another an author. Um, and it's just it touches me. What can I say? It touches me. Um, so this is my favorite piece because. Um, as a writer, I find a very strong connection between writing and art, and I find that often words, um, in essence, is a form of art, and the images that they portray, it's just a very like, delicate balance between the words and letters, the symbols that we see, and the pictures and the images that we tend to ascribe to them. So I really find this interesting because, in a way, he physically presents these words and these, um, this writing as a sort of art that we can see construct in our mind. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Hi, what do you think of the show? Love it. Um, it's really just quite in depth and interesting, and I love Buzz's work. It's great to see it in person finally. I've seen a lot of images of it online, and, you know, in presentations and things, but it's really nice to kind of actually get it up close and personal and this kind of really see the tactile quality of it and the uh, delicate detail that he kind of imbues in his work that's the same that he kind of receives when he's reading his work from these, this massive passion of books and literature and knowledge and words. Um, well, what do you think about the utilization of text? I think it's, I mean, it's essential uh, for Buzz's work. Um, I, I think text is a hard thing to do in so many forms of visual art anyway because there's so much inundation of text on a regular basis, but yet he m is able to glean and pull out with a scalpel an exactitude and carve away the exact text to express that moment and that, that specific quality that he's going for in his work. Um, the, some of the, the, not only the physical haptic quality of it, not only the physical form of it, but the individual sculpting of the, the words themselves takes on a uh, whole other level. What advice do you have to a young artist, and what advice do you have for a young reader? Follow your taste. Young readers need no guidance. They, they love what they're doing, and uh, each book leads, I think, effortlessly to the next. Uh, for young artists, it's, uh, it's uh, remember to uh, keep at work. Uh, I think. Uh, the hardest thing is the current circumstances of the art world uh, making the image of an artist that young artists have in mind uh, a little vague, a little rock star-ish, a little celebrity figure-ish, and uh, uh, you know, none of that really helps when it's just you and your materials in the studio. Mm -hmm. So, so keeping at work is a is the heart of any advice I'd give to a, a young artist. Mm -hmm.